Hey guys, Scott here. What is NoSQL database convergence and why would you care as YouTube watchers? Well, this is something that actually is kind of important. You're gonna see this if you spend a lot of time on YouTube and especially for, for example, regular users of my channel, you start to see these things when you're on YouTube, especially getting really involved. If you're gonna be posting a lot of questions, looking at the same videos over and over, you start to see weird behaviors. Now a casual user of YouTube probably won't notice these things, but if you're making comments and going back to check if there's updates and such, you may notice things like your comments come and go, or sometimes the thumbnails on a video may be different on one computer than another, probably because we changed them at some point, or other things where you're seeing one thing in one spot and a different thing in a different spot, or over time things change even though you're pretty sure I'm not making a change or that your comments are not being deleted or anything like that. Sometimes people make very normal comments, hey, I really like eating at Burger King, and then it doesn't appear after a few minutes and they're confused. I've had a lot of people send me screenshots where they're like, look, I posted this and it's, you know, a completely benign statement. It's not being held for review. It hasn't been flagged or anything like that. And after some period of time, normally after the person posting has forgotten about it, it appears and we're aware of it and we're able to respond to it. So what's going on? So in these cases, now in some cases, you've done something potentially naughty and you've been caught by the review board and YouTube has either banned the comment, in which case I don't know about it, or they have sent it to me for review, in which case I have to take time out of my schedule, which I try to do every couple hours, see if there's anything, because this doesn't happen very often, maybe once a week, and see if there's something that needs to be reviewed. And then quite often, uh, I just release it. Because most of the time it's just Brent saying something and everything he says gets flagged for review no matter what it is. He can say, I had eggs and toast this morning and it will be sent for review. I kid you not, every single time. It is so weird. But under normal circumstances, if you see this happen and you know I'm not doing anything or it's not being fight for review and it disappears and comes back, what's happening? What's happening is YouTube as a service of Google is built on tens of thousands of servers. Now those servers have a mix of things. You have front end servers that are running the YouTube application, because believe it or not, YouTube is an application, uh, not just on your computer, but there's an application running in the Google data centers that is YouTube, and that YouTube is the front end. It builds all the stuff that you see. It puts the things on the screen, chooses which videos you're gonna see, and so forth. That application runs on tens of thousands of servers, and every time you refresh the page, there's a possibility that you're going to get it from a new server. All those servers have caches, so so those caches may store a copy of the data on the page that is different than what's on another computer because one of those computers will have already brought, you know, for example, you post a comment and then you refresh your page. You may be getting that page data from a different server. That first one may have cached your comment. The next one may not have, and it's not going to pull from the database every single second. It's going to wait a few seconds. And there's more to it than that, but those caches are not necessarily up to sync. So you uh, up to date with each other. So just because it went through on one doesn't mean it's going to appear on the other right away. Your comments there, it just doesn't appear for everyone all at the same time. And by everyone, every time you refresh the page, you potentially are a new person to the application. There's more to this. The database in the back end is not a single system that holds all the information of YouTube. That would be overwhelming for a single computer to handle. So instead, it is a network of thousands of database servers that each hold a portion of the data and often hold replicants of the data. So the database server that your application server is talking to may or may not be the one that just got the comment. Now, if you're dealing with financial systems, you deal with this in a very different way. With financial systems, you make sure that every transaction is seen by every node all the time. You never take a chance that there's this convergence process or getting in sync that needs to happen. But when you're dealing with stuff like YouTube comments, nobody cares if they're slightly out of order or take a few minutes to appear or anything like that. What they want is a system that's fast and easy to use and, and just frictionless, right? So they don't want to sit and wait for everybody to get the comment everywhere in the world. They just want the system to work. And if they have to wait a few seconds or a few minutes for the comment to show up for them, that's not a problem. So it's not a real-time chat system or anything like that. So that's what's happening is the database that your application server is talking to may or may not be the one that received that comment. And it may take time for the other databases to send over their updates to your database and to a server and tell it what the latest set of comments are. So at any given moment, any given node within the huge YouTube network may not have all the most current data. In fact, basically you can guarantee that it doesn't. There's no way it would ever catch up. It's never idle enough for everything to catch up. So that's not going to happen. But 
you know within a few minutes, every node is going to get everything that happened a few minutes ago. So uh, by the time maybe five minutes passes, maybe it's a little bit longer, maybe it's a little bit less, you can be sure that no matter where you are in the world, you have everything that happened at least a few minutes ago. Just you'll never be sure about the last several seconds. So if you give it a few minutes, everything will appear, but you need to wait for the databases to talk to each other and then for the applications uh, to pull from the cache and get that cleared up and then get it to your computer. So it's, there's a few moving pieces, but that is why you often see uh, comments appear and then disappear or uh, updates of other types happen uh, to the show and then change again. And uh, when I'm dealing with Valentina doing the thumbnails for the show, quite often she'll update the thumbnail and it can take hours before I actually see the thumbnail that she has changed it to because that image, which takes a lot more time than a comment, rolls through the system very slowly. In that case, it's not just moving the data in the database. They actually have to move the image to all the databases and push that out to all the caches and so forth. So that takes a little bit more time to converge. But that's what's going on. There's no mystery. And if you work in the NoSQL database space, all of this is very normal. But most people would never do that. Most people have no idea what I just said. Uh, but if you're building applications using these types of technologies, you actually run into this on the small scale where you're doing your own applications. But in small scale applications, typically the convergence takes a matter of one to two seconds. But on something the size of YouTube, it can take literally 10 to 20 minutes before you get that effect. So it's much more pronounced and you're much more likely to run into it, but that's all you're seeing. It's nothing weird. It's nothing about your comment. Every single person making comments sees similar things happen. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.